Hey, what's up, guys? Hope that video. In today's video, I'm going over what is better, the Nerf Elite a trilogy or the Nerf a Zombie Strike Sledgefire. Let's get to the video. Okay, guys. Now starting off, I'm going to be reviewing a both of these blasters. I have already did a review on the trilogy. A good, go check that one out if you didn't see it. But I'm going to do like a little bit of a review to just um, see which ones are better. Like which one is better. First, starting off with the with the, with the sledge fire, you have a no strike type of a no strike barrel lug. You have a, a front sling mount right here. If you have, if you guys don't see that, then you have a front iron sight. You have a tactical rail. Then you have your barrel or, or release. All you have to do is press it down, and then you put it part right here down. And when you hear that click, oh, that's the priming happening. So with this with this shotgun, you do not prime like any other shotgun. You just come like this, and then when you your your shelling right here, your or your zombie track shell, all you have to do is put it in like this, like so, like that, and then flip it up. And we have a shotgun. And by the way, guys, this blaster shoots a three, a zombie strike. Whoa, a three, a three darts at a time. Then right here, guys, you have your butt stock right here, like this. Your butt stock, and this butt stock holds a three, a, a three shells. Then you have your trigger right here. This blaster does not have slam fire, but you have the trigger. It's, it's pretty cool. I can just be. I walk around and then like somebody come up to me and I shoot them oh, oh, three bulls at a time. So we got uh, uh, um and besides guys um my first uh, start liking nerf this was my this right here was my uh, favorite uh a, a nerf blast of all time but um the the spring has gone like out of place so it's kind of it's it shoots like a little bit slow now but um it, it's alright with me still I still use it so. Yeah, the spring is a little bit low. The uh, the I don't know, but yeah. And you have no other, and you and you have no jamming button, and you have like a little bit of a sling mount, the bow. I don't know how you how you gonna put that in. Then you have your little uh, lever right here to make the uh, things go down. So you have to do press again, and then you hear that pop. And guys, if you want to take the uh, 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 thing out, oh yeah, hold on. All you have to do is. Put it on like this and went to a click right here. Do a click and then it comes out popping. And you take it out and put it back in the ammo storage. And you pop it up like that. That's why I liked it. Yeah, but guys, that's the uh, view of the fire. I get the trilogy. Okay, now guys, uh, for the trilogy review, I always said that I already reviewed this blaster, so go, go check that video out. The bag is pretty cool to me, but uh, let's go to the, uh, uh, to the review. First, uh, so off of the front, you see there is no, uh, there is no inside barrel lug. This is a big opening for the, for the shooting. Do you have a tactical rail right here? Do you have a, a sling mount? Do you have your prime and uh, your your priming handle? All you have to do is prime like this, and when you prime back, it opens it opens the uh, the, the 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 chambers so you put in like a one shell, and, and you have these a uh, bigger shells than the stretch fire. You uh, put it in like this, like that, and make sure it's flat down. All you have to do is then you can, then you must gotta put it like this, then come back, and then your 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 bullets are in there, and then you shoot three again. And then guys, when you when you're done uh, priming it, and you want to put another another um another shell in, all you have to do is prime back, and th and this is the cool part about the blaster. All you have to do is a uh, prime back, and the uh, and the shell. You, just comes out like this uh, from, from inside and it, and it falls out. Observe. I'm gonna see that. Like that. And then you have your shell out. That was weird. All right. Um. You have another thing on back here. Do you have your unjamming switch right here? I mean your unjamming button. Do you have your your stock right here? Your your stock that is that is not removable unless you uh, are trying like to cut it off. But um, and you have a more uh, a storage back here for your uh, for your shells and darts. You you have five 
places uh, for each one. But uh, but guys, for sledge fire shells, it's it's kind of too small, so it, it won't uh, fit in though. But and guys, if you want to take it out, all, all you have to do is pull out like so. It won't come out like if you hold it up, it will come out. But if you hit it, it will come out. And the and the grip is it's pretty good for me. I I kind of like how the how the sledge fire a grip. I like how sledge fire a grip much more better a little bit. The trigger's pretty good. This bass does does not have sand fire. But yeah, um, let's get to the shooting for both uh, both blasters and see what they have. Okay guys, so the blasters shot expectedly. The the zombie strike I could have expected that because I've had it for a long time and the spring has gone out for a little bit. But the but the a trophy sh a shot really nicely. Even if I bought it like a few months ago, it it's still good. Yeah, but guys, so the a trophy shot at about 53 feet per second. And I'm guessing that the because it's pretty old, it might be because of the spring, or it might be because it's just, it's just a blaster. And personally, I think it might have shot at probably like 20 feet per second. I don't know. That's my opinion, though. If overall, now now I'm gonna go a well over that uh, which part of the blasters that are better than each than either either one. Well, to shooting. Is the trilogy go to the trilogy to the grip? I'm gonna have to go with the with the with the a, a sledge fire. When it comes to reloading, the sledge fire has the part where you gotta uh, fix down the a barrel. You all have to put on put on the barrel like this, and then you put a shell in, and it'd be like that. Like imagine you're in a, a Nerf war, and you had to had this gun only. And you're behind a tree, and you only have like a, a one show left. You'll be like, Dang. and you shoot him. Like the way that happens, I can I can rock when it comes to sledge fire. But when it comes to the um to the a trilogy, you have to prime back. Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay. You have to prime back. You have to do this and put it in and make sure that it is at the right way. Then you must prime back and put it back up and be like, put it in. Yeah, but it's kind of weird how they're how they're uh, supposed to go into the, uh, go to the chambers though. Yeah, but um, when it comes to um holding uh, uh, other shells, I think the trilogy wants for that because it holds more uh, shells than the a sled a sled because of. A, a sledge fire holds five sh uh, shells, but um, when it comes to accuracy, the show the uh the, the trilogy went for that. Yeah, but which yeah, but guys, I'm not gonna say. Well, I might say which blaster is better uh, uh, to me, but but this is gonna be your opinion, like. You can comment down below and see, like, uh, type down, oh, what's your favorite, the, uh, the trilogy or the sledge fire? Yeah, but to me, guys, for now, I'm just gonna say that my favorite out of 
uh, one of these is going to be I'm going to say the trilogy it's just because like I still like the, the Sun's Fire but the Sun's Fire shoots more uh, slowly now like it used to because uh, it's old and, and the spring might be done yeah but the uh the, 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 the trilogy is good though. I don't like the, how they put like the chamber in, but I like how they make the shell come out. But it's kind of weird how you're like in Nerf War and then you uh, leave uh, shells around and then you and then somebody know where you're at, like because that's kind of weird. Yeah, but guys, that's all if I have to in uh, this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.